And we got headsets, lots of headsets. So these are oil slick. They got black headsets. They got blue headsets. They got purple ones, which actually they don't have. They don't have purple ones. That was clickbait. Sorry. dropped my mentor. So today, okay, Grant, don't look at the mess. Don't look at the mess. So today we're, um, hang on, I gotta finish this. Uh, that's, that's rude to talk uh, with candy in your mouth. My mom always told me it's not, it's not nice to do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best not to sound, I'm, I'm gonna try not to make it sound like you guys are gonna me. So it, I think that that equals out. So you guys don't really see that I'm talking about something that is really important. Why are mentors taking so long to chew? Jeez Louise. Okay, now we're good. We're good to go. So, today we're at the Envy Warehouse. This is the warehouse that's in... Where are we? Logan Home. Logan... What? Logan Home. We're at Logan's home. Logan Home. Logan Home. Oh, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. See, the best part about me being here in Australia is the fact that when I say mate, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, or oh, yeah, nah, Koba, or anything like that, you guys can't say anything about it. You guys can't say stop saying it because I ain't got to because I'm in the right place at the right time saying the right words with the right stuff. I don't want to hear it, not even once. Anyways, we're going to give you guys a quick tour of this place, and I, I got permission because I was going to do this last time, but last time I was being a little baby and I didn't ask because mainly I forgot. But this time, we asked. I made sure that I could show you guys what MVs actually, like what their warehouse looks like, what it actually looked like inside the entire MV warehouse. I'm going to show you guys all the offices, all of the spots where you actually want to be, like seeing all the scooters and stuff like that. So, let's get it started, but first... I got I gotta clean up I gotta clean up my mess. Alright, so we're gonna start in the very furthest corner that I could possibly go in this entire place. That's upstairs at least. In there, that is one of the company owner's office. His name's Barry. And in here we're gonna cruise through. It looks like they got some trophies right here, um, and we have all kinds of, th that's the co another cool thing about Envy's warehouse is, here in the offices, they have photos of all of the riders everywhere. So, for example, this is Jesse Akita doing a, uh, it looks like he's doing a toothpick on some kind of a other scooter, and I think that's Brendan? I can't really, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, it looks like Brendan doing, uh, looks like he's doing a Superman on the ATS dirt scoot, which... Uh, was made a very long time ago. Now, one of my favorite parts about this entire place is this huge backdrop right here of all of different riders. This is Waza, and then they got Maddie straight over to John, and then that's Jesse all the way over there at the very end doing a wall ride. I absolutely love the way that this looks. It adds a lot of character into this place um, as opposed to it just being like white and really dull. It looks amazing. So uh, this is one of the workers' uh, desk and obviously these two are as well. So this is where they take a lot of orders or they do a lot of customer service stuff here in Australia. Um, obviously the people that call MV uh, in America, this isn't the office that they're directed to. But they, they always have like some kind of a part laying around somewhere. Like these are obviously some fasten wheels. Um, they have like some other fasten wheels right here. Uh, moving on, we got this dude. No. What, dude? You can't come in? I didn't. Get... Here, hang on. Here, we'll, we'll we'll do it again. Hang on. Hold on. Come in. Hello. Hey, my name's hey. Raymond. So I need customer sure. service right now. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Hello. So How you guys, you? you guys already know Grant. This is Grant's office. Uh, yes. He likes it to be very dark. Why he like? It's very dark. He's a vampire. Oh, this is his computer. Yeah, like very it. special computer. Yo, let me get one of those wheels really quick, yeah. bro. This is for free? My collection. This is my little collection. This is, J this is yeah, Grant's collection? These are some of the wheels that he broke. OG, yeah. OG. Yeah, like six. Is there an OG section here? Oh, uh, this, this is pretty OG. Like this thing right here. Is this this is like the threaded, threaded fork, right? One of the very first yeah. SOB oh V1, my God. if you want to call it. Where did you even I mean, get that? I've had this. Uh, I like it. It's for my scoot. I'm just keeping it. Right. <laughs> Look at this thing. Yeah, yeah. This is threaded. This yeah. is a brand new threaded fork. This is so weird. And he's got, he's even got the nut on yeah, there, yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! This thing, how old do you think this thing is? Like, let's actually, let's actually take a guess. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk. Six, seven years, maybe. Seven so, years. Yeah, yeah. So That's the, the start of Envy. The original SOB logo. 
you know what I mean? So that's the very first one that you see it in the SOBV2, SOBV3 logo. The f oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you have anything in here that has the skull logo? Uh, actually, look at this. Yo, that's look one thing this. that you guys might not have known, blunt. that that Envy's original logo, well, Blunt's original logo, was a skull. And I remember the first time I ever saw it was on Inside Scooters. This, <laughs> this was the original Envy slash Blunt logo, this little skull thing right here. That was, that was Envy. That was the first thing. He's got stickers. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh man. Bar. This is a stripper bar. So for those of you guys that don't know what a stripper bar is, um, it's it was kind of like a, what would you, like a Viper bar. For those of you guys that know what Viper bar is, because those were around, around for a little bit. Or even, okay, we'll go back to my signature bar. You know how my signature bar, the old, old one, had like a, v, like a, like a curved V look? That's what these bars were. And this would have been on the front of those bars. And this is, this is... Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this. I forgot all about stripper bars. Yeah. Comment down below what the earliest MV slash blunt part you guys can remember that you saw. Was it was it a stripper bar? Was it like maybe some MV wheels? Was it even like an AOS V3 or 4? Let me know in the comments below what the very, very first MV part that you can remember you saw was. Alright, so we're moving on. We got over here, we got like the little, you, you could call it somewhat of a cafeteria. So this is where, um, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You got some of the, the dishes. We got dishes in here. Got some stuff hanging. We got nuts. We got nuts. Stacks on stacks on nuts and nuts and stacks on nuts. Pretty sweet trash can. That's an automatic trash can. What I mean by automatic is um, if you push right here, it'll automatically open. See that? Automatic. 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 Moving on. We got the fridge. I don't even know what's in the fridge. Let's look. We got some milk. We got some. Oh, we got some Coke Zero. Okay. Okay. They got a little bit. How about ice cream? They got ice cream in here. No ice cream. They ain't got no ice cream. What kind of place even is? You don't got ice cream? No ice cream. No ice cream. Oh, I see what you did there. No ice cream, man. Like ice cream, man. So we're heading downstairs. Oh, another picture of the homies. So you guys might be asking yourselves, Ray, why haven't we seen any photos of you in this place? I don't know where this light is. Oh, wait, is this it? Hey, 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 hey. You guys might be asking, do you have any photos in there? And I don't. And the reason is because um, I just came around a little late. And I don't know where the light is for this place. I don't know if I'm going to find it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is this it? Hey. <laughs> so this is going to be the area that a lot of you guys are going to be mostly excited about. This is the warehouse. This is where they keep all of the Envy products. There's more stuff on that other wall in the back as well. So I will go through right now and show you guys every single product that they have in here. Um, but I have to read them first because I don't know exactly what they are yet. There's just boxes of stuff. These are boxes of Prodigy Red Bandanas. Before we move on, this is all the 2017 stock. They have a huge container of more products coming in right now. So, and this is a Prodigy. This is the Smoke Blue. Uh, candy Prodigies and all the ones that are going to the top are also Candy Prodigies. Prodigy, that's, a, that's one of the polished Prodigies and lo these look like they're all, yep, Prodigies uh, polished somewhere. Black Prodigies, uh, you got some KOS Heists, more KOS Heists right here. These, oh, here's some KOS Charges and more KOS Heists up there on the left. So we'll go this way, we'll go to the other end because I forgot to go this way. So normally this would be like Colts, uh, these would be green Colts. They have some red Colts right here. Um, I don't know what this stuff is. Candy prodigies, that's what that is. Oh, boys. Okay, so before we move on, I don't know if you guys ever remembered seeing this car. You might not have, but this was one of the Envy cars. And when I say it's one of the Envy cars, it's one of the Envy cars that used to race. It raced and it has like Envy's logos all over it. It was actually the original gold bandana wrap ever. That, so the, the gold bandana wrap bars were actually based off of this car now. This car is a Porsche GT3. It's a very expensive car and they got this thing imported from Dubai. It's absolutely amazing or I guess I should say it, it was absolutely amazing. This thing got absolutely destroyed in a race. Look at this thing. It got flipped. It got just oh, hammered. This thing was such a, such a sick car at the time. Let's see if we can look up under here a little bit. Oh, dude. R.I.P. Look at that back wheel over there. Look at this wheel. Like what even, how is that? The back bumper just, just destroyed guys. Just R.I.P. R.I.P. All right, so we're gonna move away from the heartbreak for a little bit. Uh, this is a boat. I don't know why there's a small boat in here. Usually there's a big boat. There's a small boat today. Um, that looks like it's some more prodigies right there. Um, let's see right here, we got some fast and stuff. 
This is some fasten grips, uh, more fasten, fasten, all fasten grips. These, where are we? I don't even know where we are. Hang on. Oh, we got some MV banners right here, a whole bunch of them. These are probably for a lot of the competitions and stuff that people go to that give those out. Now, we got some AOC4s. These are Charles Bedell, uh, Zawazas, Max Peters, AOC4s. We got Flavio's, we got John Reyes, but they saved the best for last. Yeah, boys, you know it. Oh, I just dropped it, sorry. Look at that, you know it. You got some of the, the, the main r -dub sig decks, you know. Ain't no big deal though, it ain't no big deal. Oh, we're going through, yo, low swag. So we're gonna go to this side over here and show you some of the smaller miscellaneous parts. So we have um, these right here. These are some diamond wheels in purple. I got some, what are these? Oh, chrome Lambo wheels. Oh, oil slick Lambo wheels right here. Black on black Lambo wheels. Um, let's see, we got some golden, gold wrap uh, full cores. Hollow cores, these are oil slick hollow cores. Galaxies, I like the galaxies. I've always liked the way that the galaxies looked. I always thought they looked really cool, very different, very um, vibrant, all that. Polished hollow cores, uh, got, oh, there's nothing in there. Sorry, mate. So these are just a whole bunch of wheels, just tons of wheels, five spoke, just, just tons of wheels over here. Um, I don't, what's in here? Oh, clamps. So here's some two bolt, uh, this is some two bolt blue clamps right here. Got some more clamps. More clamps right here at the bottom. This is one of the OTR clamps. So this is like a wood, wood wrap kind of look to it. Um, we got some of the blue fasten clamps right here. Fasten wheels, fasten wheels, fasten wheels all the way to the end. And we'll go this way a little bit. More clamps, more clamps. This is the oil slick clamps. You guys obviously know this is the clamp that I'm running at the moment. And we got headsets, lots of headsets. So these are oil slick. They got black headsets. They got blue headsets. They got purple ones which actually they don't have they don't have purple ones that was clickbait sorry now we got some bars over here there's some soul bars these ones look like they're black oh no is that no it's gold sorry gold i was looking at like the little gold these are gold chrome ones there's some more chrome they got just tons tons of stuff in here now this is my favorite section look at all these pallets just kidding it's not my favorite section i know it's a little dark sorry about that we're, we're kind of in the back right now but we got a bunch of just kind of like old parts that looks like uh, they might have not sold and they're just over here collecting dust right now like they got a bunch of forks right here tons of what are these these look like they're colt forks yep they are colt forks these are chromali they uh, got some prodigy decks they got uh charged charge pretty much complete scoot they must have had to jack the bars off of that one for something wheels got a bunch of other wheels in there hey what the hang on a second why are these over here these shouldn't be over here I'm about to I'm about to file a complaint here in a second. This should not be in the back. What are these? What are those? Oh, these are hollow cores. Okay, some oil slick hollow cores um, over here. It looks like we're getting into yes. Okay, so these are kind of cool. These are like the small packs of um, NV1 stuff. Hang on, I'm gonna drop my camera. So these are some of the NV1 um, complete, but these are the like the small miscellaneous parts that come with those scooters. They're like little packages. You guys have like sticker packs in here. Um, there's like wheels, bar ends. Some Allen wrenches, and they have the blue, there's pink, there's the yellow. I personally like the yellow ones the most. I think it's just because it's so, they're so bright, they're so vibrant, and on that black complete, it looks sick. Moving over here, looks like they got some, yep, they got some scooter stands right here that are just chilling. They got some clamps, looks like these are H clamps right here. Oh, grips, nice. Okay, so the grips are always, I love coming over here and seeing like all the vibrant colors of grips in the same box. I don't know why I like seeing those, but I like, like feeling them because they're so squishy and they're so mushy and they're just so, it's so fulfilling. And we're back over here to some of the other decks. These are Raven polished decks. These are some matte black. Got all kinds of stuff here, man. They get tons of stuff. Millions of dollars worth of scooter parts have come in and out of this place. Millions of dollars. So it's really cool coming here and knowing that everybody that has ridden my deck in Australia or even some of the people that have ridden my deck in America, your deck would have come from here. Not, like I said, not all you guys in America, but some of the guys over um, in America and everybody in Australia that's ridden my deck, it would have come through here at some point. It would have been packaged right over here uh, and, and just set up right here and actually just put, you know, sent over to you guys, sent over to your local shops. I think that's, uh, did, did I give you guys the entire tour? I think I pretty much did. I, I should probably go show you guys the front room, but we're get, we gotta be really careful because a lot of the new stuff is in there right now and you guys can't see the new stuff just yet. So uh, we're gonna cruise over there. We got a bathroom, we got another bathroom. I'm just on one today. This is like another um, little lunch kind of spot, little chill area. Oh, do they have ice cream? Uh, no, they don't have much in here. Upstairs fridge is where it's at. Is there anything special in here? Yes, there is something special in here. Ketchup. They got ketchup. But they don't have chocolate milk. 
And I also don't have wings and things here, so that's kind of a buzzkill right away. But yeah, snack area. So today I filmed a video with this entire backdrop in it. So um, everything that I'm looking at right now pretty much is all brand new stuff. Uh, so this, I can't show you this room, but I'll tell you what's there. There's a couch right here. It's a white couch. Now, on the other side, there's like 15 or 20 scooters lined up. And on this side, there's a cool little couch chilling right here and uh, another backdrop. So uh, we're going to get out of this room. Small parking lot, we're chilling, and we got the NG, NV truck right here, which I have been driving for the past few days. Um, it's been very interesting trying to drive on the wrong side of the road as well as the wrong side of the car. But the front of the, the front of the building, there's not like some giant, crazy, huge sign because this isn't technically this this isn't Envy. This is um, this is Metalcore Distribution. So this is the actual distribution company that that distributes Envy and it distributes uh, Fast and stuff like that. So, but we got the Envy truck out in front, so I feel like that should count for something. But uh, we're going to cruise back inside right now, and uh, I don't know if I can get back inside. I'm pretty sure I just locked myself out. I don't think I can get back in. I might have to throw a rock at the window and, and yell at Grant to ask him to help me. Let's, let's see if we can get back in through this room right here. Oh, filming in progress. Don't enter. They're telling us not to go in, but uh, I'm a thug. I don't think they realize I'm a huge thug. Apparently, I'm not that much of a thug because I can't go in there anyway. So go down below right now, you guys, and comment what your favorite Envy part that you saw or a Fasten part, uh, what's your favorite one that you just now saw? Uh, I, I think my favorite, obviously, is gonna be my deck. After that, I would have to say probably, other than that $5,000 scooter, that $5,000 scooter deck, which if you guys haven't seen that video, there's a $5,000 scooter deck in here. And if you wanna check that out, you can click, click up here, it'll say a little something some, sometimes. Click up here, that'll take you straight to that video to check out the first Fully, uh, I can't tell you exactly what it is because that's kind of taking away um, the full point of you actually going and watching the video. But it's five grand for one scooter deck, not the whole scooter, just the deck. So it's actually more than that, and it's not clickbait. Just so you know, not clickbait. It's 100% true. It's a five thousand dollar scooter, five with three zeros, most expensive scooter that I've personally ever seen ever. But there's some people up here in this window. Um, they're staring at me like I'm absolutely crazy. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Um, they don't think I'm uh, all there. They think I'm absolutely insane because I'm filming myself and screaming pretty much at my camera. But again, huge shout out to Metalcore Distribution for letting me come in here and actually give a tour. Uh, I would have done this a long time ago, but I totally forgot, like I said earlier in the video. Also, I gotta go in there and um, I think I missed a couple Mentos on the ground when I threw them all. But I'm gonna end the video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that I should do more videos like this. There is another, uh, not a factory, there's another warehouse in America that I haven't been to yet. There was one that I went to, but they just moved and there's a new one. So if you guys want me to do a tour of that warehouse, let me know in the comments below as well. So until next time, your boy is right up out of here. I'm here in Australia for another 10 days, I think. Oh. Wish your boy luck in Pro Series. I will be filming my entire run for Pro Series, so if you want to see that, I'll have the GoPro on. Make sure I get all that stuff for you guys. But until next time, your boy's out. Later.